I'm here together with nobody today uh, outside Kyle Beach. This is where I live. And uh, I'm going for a walk in the village. As you probably know, if you've watched the live last night, I had a couple of beers, got home, had a glass of wine. And uh, so I'm not feeling 200% today. But um, if you want to come with me on a walk to clear away the cobwebs, let's uh, start going. It'll be about an hour. I might stop for a coffee along the way. And uh, we'll see what we shall see. <clears throat> so, first time I've talked today, so I've got a sore throat as well. Hello, doggy. How are you? Buenos dias. Buenos dias. And uh, so, if you're new to the channel, my name's Tim. I go walking Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, around about this time. I also go live Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5.55 in the evening. Uh, Monday's all about you. Meet up Monday. If you're on the island, you want to come and say hello, you know where we are. Just uh, go to timothydowd.com slash events and uh, send me an email to let me know you're coming. Otherwise, we don't turn up. And then you sat there like piffy on a brick. Well, there you go. So, we've got one person watching. Oh, seven people watching. They're piling in now. Um, on Wednesday's Balcony Banter, apart from the first Wednesday of the month, which is this Wednesday, where we go over to Yuliani Nendel's channel, link in the description, and we talk about a subject, a serious subject, maybe a little bit light-hearted, but usually there's a serious discussion going on, and you can join in. What else are we going to do? Freaky Friday is me in a bar, although for November, I'm not going to drink beer. The only beer I'm going to drink in November is on Saturday a little Germany, we're going to a little Germany to celebrate my retirement with uh, Webby and Dawn and of course Christine. We're not going to film it, but uh, we're going to go and I'm going to have a, a dark German beer. But no more Doradas for me for November. Uh, in fact, I'm going to start today because uh, I'm not going out tonight and I don't have beer at home. So there you go. So uh, no more beers for November. I'll have an odd glass of wine if the meal screams out for it. So, obviously, the meal's going to scream out for it more often than not. But there you go. Morning, Peter. I just hope that the, um, the comments have, have been fixed. It's raining in Scunthorpe again. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Let me show you where we are. We're in beautiful, sunny Tenerife. I'm walking down into the village as we speak. That's my view over to America. That's a beautiful view. And we've got the hotels here, which is the Blue Sea Kayao Garden. Um, somebody was asking me yesterday about uh, mobility scooters and staying here. But uh, it's amazing because, uh, one John, it looks like they fixed the, uh, the text, hopefully. Morning, Michael. I've read your text, Michael. I'll, uh, I'll reply in a minute. Yeah, so it's not really designed for people with mobility issues, as you can see. It's all over the place. There's stairs everywhere. I don't think there's an elevator or a lift, whatever they call it these days. So be careful. Uh, this is Tropical Park, which is probably a better, a better choice. Obviously, oh, no. <laughs> I talked too soon. I talked too soon. Oh my God, they didn't fix it. I reinstalled the app as well. Damn. So, no comments again today. What a shame. What a shame. It, it can't be just me though, can it? There must be other people having, having this problem with the YouTube app on iPhone. So, Tropic Park behind that is the uh, Mind Hotel. Oh, I don't know why I'm walking down here. I meant to go down to the beach first. Well, let's see if we can go down to the beach behind the bus stop. That'll be good. That'll give you an idea of how to get down there. So, 40 people watching. Five thumbs up already. If uh, you're going to give us a thumbs up, that'd be great. Uh, the only way to see the sun it's a tune in to the morning walks. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> Thank you. I saw that one. But that one will now cover everything else because it's more lines. I think I've worked it out what it is. Whew. That's a smell of gully. Take my life in my hands. 
So there are plans to build a hotel on this on this spot here. Yeah? I don't know what you think. A few clouds, which is the way I like it. That's the way uh -huh, uh -huh. I like it. So this is temporary, I think. A little bit stony as well. Got my glasses on so I can see. So not for wheelchairs or baby chairs, but if you're quite okay on your feet, that's fine. Well, this gives you a different perspective of the Terrasa El Habli, which is upstairs here and the uh, Rincon de Criollo and Nebula restaurant. So, going down the beach, going down, down, down. Ah. No, I'm afraid if you're just joining us, the comments are being overwritten by the previous comments, which is a shame. So I won't be able to read your comments now. The longer the comment, I can get the bottom bits. So, but we've already had a long comment on. That means that particular one is overwriting all the others now. So uh, it would happen eventually anyway. So, and if they were all one line comments, then I still be able to read them. So I'm going to have to contact Google, I think, and see if I'm the only one. The wonderful thing about Google is I'm the only one. So this is Agua Biba, and you've got the main Agua Biba here, and you've got the bungalows here, but I think they're all called Agua Biba. So the water of life, Agua Viva. Beautiful uh, apartments here. Uh, Diane was looking at an apartment for rent down here, and I'm going to try and show it. That's in Las Banderas. Las Banderas looks right out onto the sea. In fact, when the waves are high and the stormy season, they have been known to crash into the apartments. But I think you can insure against it, but I'm not sure. Insure? Not sure. Nice and quiet today. Have I gone deaf? One of the two. Here we go. So you're just joining us. The comments are not working again. Sorry about that. I was going to bring my iPad, but then I would have had to bring my second Wi-Fi and uh, carry an iPad in the one hand and gimbal in the other. It's not. It's just not working. So. Oh, I did see that from Gary. I think it was. Andrew and other vloggers I watched live don't seem to be having any problems, yeah. I don't know whether they're using iPhone 11s and the iPhone app to vlog. So I think the live ones, when they go live, I'm not sure whether they're using iPhones. And if they are using iPhones, whether they're using this version. So it could be that it's just my version of the app or my version of the iPhone that's a problem. If you want to see what it looks like, I put a couple of pictures up on the community page. If you don't know what the community page is, you go to Timothy Dowd and uh, YouTube to my channel and then pick the community tab. And you'll see the posts. So, let's go this way. So this is the beginning of the Maritime Walkway. It's uh, paved up until the corner there, and then it turns into a dirt road until you get to Playa Paraiso, and then it's paved again. So I'm hoping they're gonna finish this at one point. This is the beach bar. 
They've got a top and bottom. Top is drinks and snacks, I think. And bottom's a restaurant. Uh, there's still no hammocks on the beach, which was part of the uh, part of the thing, part of the deal. So I don't know what's going on there. It's supposed to be a dog-free beach, but I don't think that you know dog owners are either ignorant or stupid when they bring them down here. Obviously the dog owners that don't do that are not that, but the ones who do are either ignorant that they don't know it's a dog-free beach or stupid, they know it and don't care. So if there is a third option, let me know. Maybe the dogs can't read the no dog sign. That's probably the third option. A lot of people say, it's not my dog. He just lives with me. <laughs> Which I suppose is an option. Saves on the license and the insurance and the chip. Here we go. So this is the restaurant, Osteria Sia. Actually, it's Osteria C. So it's the English word C with the uh, Italian word Losteria. There you go. Oh, this is clever. That's very clever they've done that. You see that? Did there used to be a wall there? Did they take it down? I'm not sure. That looks quite nice. Not very wheelchair friendly, obviously, but there you go. I don't remember this being... I don't remember this being no wall for some reason. It must have been, though. There you go. So this is where we meet on a... Friday morning to do Webby Sports Roundup. Also one of Christina's favourite sitting spots. Well, she hasn't been down here lately. Let's have a quick look. My uh, new iPhone should be coming soon, so it might clear up with that. Let me sit here. Oh, that is a brilliant view. See if I can read anything. Hitting the thumbs, it's free, you'll see that. Andrew, other vlogger, we did that one. Thought there were steps down to the beach, Tim. There are also steps down to the beach. Oh. Uh, definitely my favorite trees. <laughs> I can usually read the bottom line of what you're saying. So say blah, 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 and then say what you want to say. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful. There you go. Nice and framed there. So I'll show you the steps now. So here are the steps down to the beach. Right there. Um, right next to it, there's the steps up to the top um, restaurant and a ramp. So there are two ramps, one at the far end which came down and one here where we go up. This ramp does go through the restaurant though. Which they have to keep open obviously. I think they open at 10. Buenos dias. Cuando abiertas a las 10. Más o menos. Gracias. Around about 10 o'clock they open. So there's the uh, steps going up to Laura's coffee shop. 
So here we go, no smoking, accessible beach, no camping, no dogs, no animals in fact. Uh, lifeguard from 10 till 6.30. There's no first aid, no drinking water, there is a shower. Uh, please throw your stuff in the bin. And no information apart from this information. This is the Osteria downstairs, the picture, and let's have a quick look at the menu. So, starters, salads, pizzas, pastas, risottos, meat dishes, fish and burgers, kids' corner, extras, Desserts, an ideal for sharing brownie sundae and banana split. There you go. Oh, they do breakfast as well. Let's have a quick look here. Wild mushrooms, scrambled, Turkish Menemen Mini Paritha Wrap, an English breakfast for 8.50. Fried eggs with chorizo, fried eggs with bacon, egg Benedict eggs, or eggs Benedict, as you would say. Creeps. <laughs> there you go, you can even get creeps. Uh, croissant. Salty creeps, there we go. <laughs> Salty creeps. Uh, club sandwich, tower Nutella, and tower bosque. Uh, you'd think they'd have somebody doing the, uh, the proofreading, wouldn't you? If they're spending money on a sign, you'd have somebody doing proofreading. So, if you look over here, these are the apartments that Diama's looking at, Las Banderas. So you can rent them short term. I don't know how legal that is. If it doesn't have a VV, then it's probably not a legal let. What does that mean? It means that... Uh, the VV is designed to show you that somebody's looking to make sure it's safe and to make sure that uh, the electric's done right and that there are facilities for you that are okay and up to standard. And, uh, and also that they're paying their taxes, obviously. So uh, VV doesn't guarantee you a great place to stay, but it guarantees you a legal place to stay. I've also heard horror stories of people booking stuff and then it not being there. But Vivi will stop that for you. Here we go. Morning. It is a bit warm today, isn't it? Atlantic Holiday Company, one of the five hotels in the village. ATM, and we can actually see this ATM from our from our flat. So this gives you another view of Las Banderas. They look straight onto the sea. Beautiful looking places, and here, as you can see. Okay, no parking here, mate. So there used to be a car parking here, but they've changed it now to one disabled spot and loading and unloading. So you have to park down at the beach now. So if you can see our house in the middle of our street, it's up here, it's the top one in the middle with the blind on one little side bit. So you can actually see this hotel from our thing. So, take my life in my hands. Let's have a look at some of the restaurants. The Anka, El Ancla. Then we got the new tapas bar. 
which used to be the Seven Plates Seven Days, but now it's called tapasboutique.com. I'm going to walk the other side of the road, give you a better view. Oh, yeah. oh this is the Sea Soul restaurant, by the way. Um, this is the restaurant that you can visit for this hotel. It's open to the public as well. And you've got the Divina Comida, Divine Food restaurant. And next to it is the Irish Bar, which is Paddy McGinty's. I don't think it's owned by Irish people, but it does have an Irish vibe to it. A little Germany next to that. Ah, phone's gone dark. Well, so we're going on Saturday. I think the winter hours. They have winter hours now. They're open Tuesday to Saturday. In the summer, they close Monday, Tuesday. In the winter, they close just Monday. 5 to 11, and then Sunday, 1 to 11. They do have German specialities, but they got some of the best steaks here. And the thing I like, the cheek, the pork cheeks. It's fantastic. I yeah? Yeah, fantastic. Schweinebacke. <laughs> What's your name? Where are you from? Fabiana. Fabiana, from here? I'm from Italy, but I live uh, traveling. Oh, you like traveling? Yes, yes. <laughs> cool. How long have you been in the village? <clears throat> Two weeks now. Two weeks? Yeah. And how often have you been to Little Germany? Little what? In Little Germany? Oh, just last night. Okay, very good. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. I recommend you to go to the north of the island, or in, uh, uh, what's the name? Uh, Puerto de la Cruz? Taganana. Taganana? Taganana, yeah. Hey. I recommend you to go there, Playa de Benijo. Uh-huh. It's the best. Is it uh, for wheelchairs? Is it friendly? My wife's in a wheelchair. It's very... Oh, I understand. The north of the island is not as um, good for the wheelchairs as the south is. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's getting there. It's so beautiful. You can go with the car, though, to just see the views. Yeah, unfortunately, she can't see much either. She's got MS and she's blind, deaf and can't walk. Oh. So she just likes sitting on the balcony enjoying the sun and the food. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, good luck then. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Some uh, fit people jogging there on the road. There's quite, quite a lot of people around today. Morning. Morning. Where are they all going? Must be free something somewhere. <laughs> yep. So chatting with the young lady, I forgot to show you the rest of the restaurants, but you've seen them all before, haven't you? Let's go have a look at the, uh, the view. Take my life in my hands. Which I did. I unto me into the ereje. And there we go. La Gomera. Fantastic view. I like it when there's no mist, clouds or dust in the air and you can see the contours of Lagomera. That's really good. So this is another place where we used to do Webby Sports Roundup down here. Those of you might rec recognise those trees. Those trees are looking a bit tired now though. So we moved down to the beach. It was a better view. And also we got a little bit of shade. At least I did. <laughs> okay, so this is the pearly grey so you can uh, it, it was a time or is a timeshare but uh, I think you can rent weeks there as well and you can also visit the restaurants without being uh, what's it called a resident so this is being done up these are two four six eight ten apartments there ten apartments at the back so there's 20 apartments in that block. Two, four, six, eight, ten, 
12, 40, 16, 18, another 20 apartments at the top there and probably at the back as well. And uh, I think I've shown you the artist's impression of what it's going to look like. There's going to be a restaurant on the corner here and above it, the infinity pool looking out to sea. So uh, I'm going to walk up here. Here we go. And I think if I get round this barrier, let's go through here. Set me life in my hands. There you go. So you got apartments looking on apartments and apartments looking out to sea, probably different prices. And this is the artist's impression of what it's going to look like when it's finished. <sighs> there you go, so you can see there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve apartments on the left and two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two at the back <sighs> and shops at the bottom, infinity pool and the uh, restaurant looking quite good. So opposite there is the steps up to Monte Cristo, three horseshoes and uh, Masala and the place I was going to go to last night, which was Chaos Street, but they were closed. Maybe they closed on Mondays, I don't know. So I'm going to take my life in my hands here and go under my tree. We've still got 100 people watching. Sorry if you just joined us. I'm not reading out comments, but they're being overwritten. So there we go. This is Laura's where we have coffee on a uh, Friday morning with Webby. Move sit over there in the shade. Here's Mum's pizza. Best pizza joint on the island. Give us a wave. Hi. They used to have uh, lots of different foods out front here, but I'm not, I'm not kidding you. I've had a pizza here right at the beginning, 2014, and it was the best ever because it was a stone pizza. Stone pizza oven, right? There you go. If you fancy a pizza, that's the one. They do takeaway as well. So I'm going to have a coffee here now. The Eclipse Bar. Mm. Oh, yeah. Good morning. So let's turn you around. Uh, I'll set this side. So we've got the radio next to us. Having a bit of fun. What are we having? So I'll see if I can see. No, Trisha Slater. I'm dressed for it. Oops. Uh, having any problems? I think that's just Alan's homemade vlogs on. Toby. Trisha. Can you hear the music? I'm actually going to move away from the speaker. I'll move around the corner. Here. There we go. Here we go. I'll even do that. There we go. So, out of the music going on. Well, I think we'll get a coffee. 
Café con leche and bacon sandwich, please. Did I just order a bacon sandwich? I apologize. Apology. So we've got 103. We're in Eclipse now. Eclipse is, uh, is owned by an Irish guy and uh, been here a long time. Refurbished this year or last year, maybe. And uh, it's a great hit with the local British speaking and also the locals who live here. And um, tourists come and have the big breakfast in the mornings, but they do, uh, they are fully licensed as well. So you can have whatever you like. For those of you commenting, apologize I can't read them. Same issue as I've always had with the other thing. I'm gonna see if I can change that uh, out. I'll wait for the coffee to come and then I'll, I'll finish up. We've been on 30 minutes, so it's a little bit a shorter one today. I've got to get back early today for the simple reason is Reinhold's coming to do some painting, help me paint the place. And uh, I've got a lot of work to do before he arrives, clearing stuff out of the bedroom or what have you, including Chris. <laughs> so, in fact, I'm going to finish it up now because I can't read what you're saying. So, um, for those of you who were disappointed about the, uh, the things, I can watch it back later on my computer, so I will find out what you've said. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. I, I might do a different thing tomorrow morning. I might, uh, I might do a, a sit down one with the computer somewhere. So I'll drive somewhere nice, and then I'll have a nice view, and I'll have a chit chat with you guys. All right, it's Tim Dapper living with MS in Tenerife, signing off. See you, wouldn't want to be you. Yeah.